Shrisus daf yud ches. According to Rav, for someone to be chayev a asham tali, it's not enough that he has one piece of meat in front of him and he's not sure if it's chaylev or kosher. You have to have two pieces of meat in front of you, one that's kosher and one that's chaylev. And then he takes one, he doesn't know which one he took. The Gemara gives three reasons for this. Either because it says in the Torah, mitzvahs, but it's spelled mitzvahs, and mitzvahs is plural, so you have to have two pieces of meat in front of you. Or the pshat is that it has to be something that it's efshel varer isuri. Something that when you look at it, you take the leftover, whatever left over, you bring it to a lab, and you figure out whether or not the piece that he ate was trave or not. The third pshat is because when you have two pieces in front of you, then it's kivia isura. The isur was established through the one piece that's asur. What's the difference between the three pshatim? If you say in a case where you have one and a half shirim, you have a kazais v'chetzi of meat, and he ate one kazais. Now what you have left over is a half a shir. According to the pshat that you need to have mitzvahs, you need to have two. This is not two, so the person is not chayav al But according to the pshat, that Efshel Levari Surah, you could be Mavari, you could take the half Kazayis and send it to the lab, and Mamela, you're Chayav and Ajum Talib. Another half Kamina is between the three Bishadim. If a guy came along and ate the first piece, and there's only one piece left, and then the Jew ate it. So if it's Mitzvahis and Levari Surah, you don't have that. You don't have anything left to be Mavari, and you don't have Mitzvahis. You don't have two when the, when the Jew ate it. But you do have Kaviyah Yisura, even though there's nothing left when the Jew finished, but the Isra was established. Remeir, the Gemara says, holds like, like Rebbe Yezer, that all you need is one piece in order to be chayev in an Ashim Tali. And therefore, says Remeir, if a person was to bring in Ashim Tali, and instead of shechting it in the Beis Hamidosh, he shechted it outside of the Beis Hamidosh, he must bring an Ashim Tali on that Ashim Tali, in addition to the first Ashim Tali. According to Chachamim, he'll be potter because you need two pieces. You need Shtei Chatichos, and all he had here was one animal. According to Rebbe Eliezer, a person could bring in Ashim Tali every single day of his life, provided that he has some sort of reason to bring it. He has some sort of suffix. It doesn't have to be a solid suffix, it has to be some sort of a suffix. As the Gemara says, Baba ibn Buddha would bring an Ashim Tali every single day, besides right after Yom Kippur. Immediately after Yom Kippur, he wouldn't bring one, he couldn't bring one, because Yom Kippur is Mechaper. According to Chachamim, if you don't have a real suffix, a solid suffix, a real one, and you bring in Ashim Talui, it's as if you brought Chulin Ba'azara. In a case where he had two pieces of meat in front of him, and came a guy or a bird and took the first piece, and the Yisrael ate the second piece, B'Shoyeg, we have a Mechleg Yisam whether he has to bring an Ashim Talui or not. Because right now he only has one piece, as we discussed before, it's machleg. It's also machleg is tanoi. According to Rebbe, you're chayiv on one piece, and according to Chachamim, you are a potter. Now, if you have two pieces in front of you, the first piece a Jew ate, and then the second piece another Jew ate, so if we go in the sheet of Rebbe Yezer, that you can bring a carbon every single day, so the second person would bring a carbon just so that people don't get confused and think that since the second person doesn't have to bring a carbon, then the first person had to bring a carbon vada. To dispel that, we make the second person also bring a carbon. There's a concept called Yidiyas Safik. That is, Dalacha is, if a person eats one piece of chaylev and then he became aware that it was completely chaylev, and then he ate another piece of chaylev, and he became aware that what he ate was chaylev, so he has to bring two chatas. If he became aware after he ate the first piece, that was a Suffolk Chaylev. And after he ate the second piece, he became aware that was a Suffolk Chaylev, he brings two Ashim Talibs. Here's where it's very interesting. What happens if he ate one piece of Chaylev, he became aware that it was a Suffolk. At this point, he has to bring Ashim Talib. Then he ate another piece of Chaylev, and he became aware that both pieces of Chaylev were really Chaylev. Do we say that the first awareness that was a Suffolk awareness, is that considered a full awareness that he should be chayiv two chatois, or is he only chayiv one chatois? According to Rebbe, you bring two chatois, because Yidiya Suffolk is mechalek. Not only that, according to this shita, in Rebbe, a person would have to bring two chatois if even Yom Kippur came out in the middle without him having an awareness at all. So, let's say he ate a piece of chaylev before Yom Kippur, and then Yom Kippur came, he still didn't have an awareness. And then he had another piece after Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur 
is as if he had an awareness, and according to that sheet, he would be high of two chatais. Not only that, if he ate two pieces of Yom Kippur itself, one at nine o'clock in the morning, and then the second one at 10 o'clock in the morning. Since Yom Kippur is mechaper throughout, there's no specific time, so that hour in between is enough of a time to give him a yidiya, to be mechalik, and be him two chatois. If a person drinks fish brine, I am Kipper, he is potter because it's not considered liquid. It's not considered a drink, a chash of drink. There's a machlaikas, whether or not vinegar is considered a drink, Rebbe says it is, and Chacham say it isn't. Have a wonderful day.